Good morning. It is Sunday, November 17th, 2024, and welcome to a walk in the vineyard. We do this every Sunday, as you can soon see with the uh, um, slideshow that we have when we broadcast our Sundays and special events throughout the year. I uh, want to give you an announcement about virtual camp meeting on our YouTube. That's going to be July 9th through 13th, 2025. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 p.m. Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. Look for us on JBMN Walk in the Vineyard. That's our YouTube channel um, right there on YouTube. You're watching us there as well. We're going to set up a way on our blog or on our uh, website jamesparkusministries.weebly.com to have our channel play out through there as well. And we'll try to find a social media, another social media channel that will allow us to broadcast directly on their site as well using OBS Studio. Also, jamesparkusministries.weebly.com is our main home page in jamesbarkusministries.wordpress.com is our WordPress blog. Uh, wanted to make you mindful of those things as well. And if you have prayer requests or testimonies you'd like to give us, you can give them by email, postal mail, or through our prayer line. Our prayer line is 706-489-1185. Prayer requests and testimonies can also be emailed to us, JBM Prayer at live.com and Lisa James Barkus at gmail.com. You can contact us both. My wife is Lisa James Barkus at gmail.com. Well, her email address is that. You can also book us for special events. Use JBM World HQ at live.com or Lisa James Barkus at gmail.com. Send your invitation by mail. James Barkus Ministries, 8 and a half Poplar Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816. Dash one seven two nine. And we thank you for joining us this morning. I'm James Barkus. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, my wife Lisa, right behind us in prayer and in spirit, uh, always leading the way through there as well. So. There are religions that do not worship Jesus Christ as directed in the Bible. They do not believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Well, here are seven I am statements Jesus gave in his ministry that prove those false religions absolutely wrong Mary can't get you to God Peter can't get you to God Paul cannot get you to God John the Revelator cannot get you to God only Jesus Christ can get you to God the Father maker of heaven and earth and all the universe in its splendor and we begin John 6.35 this morning and Jesus said unto them I am the bread of life he that cometh to me shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst now I remember back to discussing about the woman at the well. While the disciples went to town to get some stuff, Jesus sat at the well, and the woman came up. And Jesus, Jesus told her everything that she had done. Told her, you said wise. Because 
you've not had one husband, you've had five. And the one you're with now is not your husband. And he told her, you'll draw from this well again if you thirst. But the well that I talk about, you will never thirst. That well is the Holy Spirit that is within us when we rededicate our lives to Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Dead, buried, and resurrected on that third day and tearing 40 days and now sitting at the right hand of His Father. Oh, hallelujah. The second I am statement is John 8 and 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. I learned how to feel around in the dark at times because my mother is now legally blind by the definition of the Social Security Administration and by the definition of eye doctors. Diabetes was part of it. Other factors played in. Macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy. So, learning from my mother, I learned how to do that as well and try to preserve my eyesight as much as possible. Now, you may see me dart my attention here and there because with this ministry, I've had to sit at my desk, utilize a Windows program called OBS Studio and use the PowerPoint presentation to do what I need to do in the ministry. Now I'm looking for volunteers and if you want to volunteer jbmworldhq at live.com that's our email address for booking special um, appearances and what have you but if you want to send your resume in if you can help us out by being a technical director where I can get behind a pulpit and teach and preach the word and have help getting it out there to you by all means And if you are a church and you want to help other churches get the media ministry established, I did a media ministry camp. And I'm expanding it to include live streaming capabilities. So if you want to have your ministry receive the help that it needs for media ministry, by all means, jbmworldhq at live.com or you can even call our prayer line, 706-489-1185. And I know I say this as it comes to my mind, and I appreciate you for being patient with me. But Jesus is the light, the way, the truth, and the life. Give me just a moment, and we're going to 10-7. Jesus was telling a story. There was a thief trying to steal sheep, and a shepherd who enters through a gate one recognizable to both the gatekeeper and the sheep. The good shepherd knows his sheep by name and guides them because the sheep come to know and trust his voice. Jesus said, then Jesus said unto them again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. And then in John 10 and 14, right along with the parable, the G image of Jesus as a shepherd is a common metaphor used throughout the life of Jesus Christ. And of course, I got this from Parade Magazine. They have the seven I am's. But it is so good a lesson, it needs to be taught. Jesus identifies with the shepherd. Not only is he the gate, he's also the shepherd because the sheep know his voice. Jesus saying, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep 
and am known of mine. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We're already halfway through this list. Mary and Martha were the two that Lazarus, the family members of Lazarus, and Lazarus had died and he had been in the grave. And Martha and Mary both were in mourning. And Jesus had come to them. You know, in the middle of the powerful story, Jesus declared, I am the resurrection and the life. John eleven twenty five. 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Then he prayed to his father. He said, Father... I don't do this for your benefit. I do it for their benefit so they know that I come from you. And Jesus called Lazarus out. This is the scripture that I come to. The central theme John 14, 6. All of you that want to pray to Mary, all of you that want to pray to Peter, all of you that want to pray to the Pope, guess what? They won't get you there. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. These are Jesus' words. They're not my words. I can't get you to heaven. I can't get you to God. But Jesus can. Jesus can. In John 15, 5. I am the vine. Ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. These are seven. And there are many more statements in the Bible that back Jesus up as the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father except through him. You can't close a prayer with, in James's name I pray. No, well, James was a brother of Jesus, but guess what? James won't get you to God. Mary won't get you to God. But Jesus can. And Jesus is the example we have to live by. We're going to take a very short break. I'm going to mute my mics. We're going to take a very short break and come back. You are watching A Walk in the Vineyard. We're going to take a short break and come back.
once again, if you uh, need prayer, 706-489-1185, or you can send it to James Barkus Ministries, 8 and a half Poplar Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816-1729. You can also book us for special events, jbmworldhq at live.com. You can also send your resume if you want to join the ministry and help us get this word out. Uh, also, pardon me, excuse me, prayer requests and testimonies, jbmprayer at live.com, and I do apologize for that. As you can see on the upper right of your screen, our prayer line and our email address are always up there, almost always, because if we go to scriptures that highlight stuff, it won't be on there, but it's okay. It's always on when we come to our camera shot. We come to a crossroads every week where maybe you've gone the wrong way. Maybe you've taken that wrong path. Maybe you've done prayed to you know Buddha, Hare Krishna yes they got some good principles there but they don't lead you to God everything out of the Holy Bible from the book of Genesis 1 chap chapter 1 verse 1 all the way to Revelation 22 21 and every scripture in between that will lead you to Jesus Christ who is our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our soon-coming King. No other can lead you to God the Father except through Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Because when you're saved, the Holy Spirit comes down into you. Not one of us is perfect. Not one of us is perfect. And as it's illustrated in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Nobody's perfect except Jesus Christ. He became human. He became a man. Led a perfect life. led by the example the Father gave to him. Not his earthly father, but his heavenly father. But he respected his earthly father. But he cherished his heavenly father. Romans 6, 23, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5, 8, But God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10, 9 through 13, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. My friends, there is absolutely nothing God would like more than to be in a very close relationship with you. 
But the way Eve was deceived by the devil and the way Adam followed Eve instead of God God had to make the path clear and that is why God gave his only begotten son John 3 16 for God so loved this world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe upon him shall not perish but have everlasting life that's Jesus Christ God's only begotten son because in John 1 and 1 in the beginning was the word the word was with God and the word was God In the beginning, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And in the Word, nothing that is made would have been made were it not made by His hands. Jesus Christ helped His Father in the creation of this universe before the world was I am is what was said about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because Jesus is the only one to have been with his father then come to earth and then go back to the father And Jesus saying, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man shall come to the Father except through me. He was teaching his disciples that the only true way to God is through him. John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And that's a different translation. So, Hebrews 2 and 3, How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation. How shall we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? That's through Jesus Christ. John 14, 6, Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. This is from the New International Version, by the way. I'm sorry, New Living Translation Bible. And then Jesus in John 15, 5, Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. See, I can't give the word of God, but Jesus going through me can give the word of God. My spirit has to decrease while the Holy Spirit increases within me to do what I do week in, week out. And maybe you've come to the point in your life you're saying, 
the way I'm doing it is not getting it. I need help. And this is where Jesus Christ comes in. Call out to him. The way you do that is by prayer. There's some verses in the song I speak. Jesus, shout Jesus from the mountains. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the holy name of Jesus. That is a beautiful song. There's a version by Charity Gale. There's a version by Family Worship Center. Revelation Singers. In fact, Joseph Larson is one of them. Let me make one thing clear. There's only one way. Through Jesus Christ. Peter can't get you there. Paul can't get you there. But Jesus can. If you don't know the words of the prayer that we're about to go into, I've cobbled together a sinner's prayer. From the best of the best. Billy Graham. Um, and others. So if you do your own prayer... That's fine. Call out to Jesus. Here's how we do it at JBM. I cobble together this prayer. I'd like you, if you don't know the words, you can recite them with me. Heavenly Father and Lord Jesus, I need you. I know I am a sinner. And I acknowledge you, Lord Jesus, are the only way through to the Father. Thank you for forgiving my sins and bearing the cross. And thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Lord, Savior, and soon coming King. Please, Lord Jesus, take control of my life and make me the person you would want me to be. I want to trust and follow you all the days of my life as your disciple, Lord Jesus. Jesus, it's in your name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with us, I believe you are welcome into the brotherhood and sisterhood of Jesus Christ. And here's a couple, uh, couple things that you need. Number one, you need a good Bible that you can read from. You need one that's going to be easy on your eyesight. It doesn't have to be so tiny that you have to have a magnifying glass with you every time. The one I got is a super large print Bible. has Jesus' words in red. has uh, everything you need to learn. And to bring the word of God closer to your heart. Second, you need to join in fellowship with the body of Christ that is part of you. Because the way my car runs and what have you right now, I'm not able to go, but I'm able to minister. I'm able to pour out. But it also takes prayer to pour into the minister. So I ask you pray for me as well. My health, you know, I'm back on insulin. I'm under doctor's care now. I'm back on insulin for diabetes, trying to manage the diabetes the, the way it's been haphazardly done. I'm hoping to do it on a more consistent basis. So I pray for strength and wisdom in that. And I also pray that you grow in the body of Christ.
we are all a part of each other in the body of Christ. It can be the big toe. It can be the pinky finger. The thumb. Any part of the body of Christ works together. third thing is support. At minimum, 10%. As it is biblically written. But if you're so moved to do more, great. If you spread it out to several ministries, that's between you and God. I'm not going to solicit because the God, word of God is free. The resources I'm using is free except for the internet, the electricity, and what have you. And I pay for that because I work a full-time job. I work Monday through Friday, 7.45 to 4.15. Yeah, that's early. About as early as going to school. But hey. As long as God gives me the health to do the job and helps me along the way, I'll do it. I'll give the word till I have no voice left. I'll give the word until Jesus splits that eastern sky and tells me, come home. Again, we would like your prayer requests and testimony. Call us at 706-489-1185. You can also email us, jbmprayer at live.com or lisajamesbarkas at gmail.com. You can also book us for special events, jbmworldhq at live.com or lisajamesbarkas at gmail.com. You can do by mail as well. James Barkus Ministries, 8 and a half Poplar Street, Manchester, Georgia, 31816-1729. And we want to thank you for watching A Walk in the Vineyard from James Barkus Ministries. If you notice, we're going to start doing our 2025 emblem a little early, celebrating 20 years in ministry. We broadcast on Sundays and special events throughout the year. Look for virtual camp meeting on our YouTube channel, July 9th through 13th, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 7 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. and 7 p.m. And we'll do a watch night service New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day again. We're going to do it again this year because last year we had gunfire erupt around 3rd Street in Manchester. And we're going to do it from here at Poplar Street in a quieter neighborhood. Praise the Lord. Our website, jamesparkusministries.weebly.com and jamesparkusministries.wordpress.com. jamesparkusministries.wordpress.com. That's our blog. YouTube.com forward slash at JBMN Walk in the Vineyard. If you don't put that circle A in front of JBMN Walk in the Vineyard, you'll get a 404 error, and unfortunately, that would be bad. Just being honest there. We want to thank you for joining us on Walk in the Vineyard. I'm James Barkas. Founder and evangelist, James Barkus Ministries, may the good Lord richly bless you and keep you safe and strong. Have a good week, everyone.